Uh, it's what we call a high performance envelope. So the, the insulation is on the outside, so we can use the structure itself on the inside as a thermal mass. And then there's an air gap. And in front of that air gap are these terracotta tiles. They all have air flow through them, so all the air, as the cool air goes, it allows the edge of the building to be cooled. Yeah, here we can see um, the basic idea for the interior, which was to expose most of the actual structure that's holding up the building. Um, like this concrete block over here, up in the ceiling, we have a concrete ceiling. And all of that is constantly in touch with the air and can exchange um, heat and coolness. So the, the walls are actually thermal storage. They absorb the heat during the day and can release it at night. This interactive screen is basically a snapshot of all the sustainable design features of the police station. The campus has a large array of photovoltaics that we're taking advantage of. That is helping contribute to energy savings as well. Another cool feature of the building is the weather sensor up on the roof. This is tied in with the solar chimney to let the building know when is the best time to open it up and use natural ventilation. So here you can see the, um, the green roof which helps us with um, insulating the building. We can see that it's um, set up as a tray system. These panels here, are trays that are, have been planted um, off-site in a nursery and then being brought over and basically, basically just uh, dropped in. See the purple lines here for irrigation, drip irrigation, so it really doesn't use a lot of water. It's just every once in a while when it gets a little too dry, water is added. They will eventually be grown over, so this is sustainability in terms of functionality. In the long term. Together with the signage, the word police, it really sends a very strong sense of the police presence here at the campus. And it's um, with that it enhances a sense of um, security.